Hey everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me at the end of the last episode. Uh, we searched what I believe to be the Overseer's office, I guess. And uh, we looked on this computer here, and one of the things on this computer terminal was an option to open the evacuation tunnel. And I did that, and it says it is now open. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because uh, when I made that choice, it opened this door over here, which led me to believe that this is the evacuation tunnel. And it has also led me to believe that maybe this is the exit, but I'm thinking that this probably isn't going to be the exit because this door looks just like all the other doors here in the vault, but uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go through the door and uh, see what is actually behind it. And what we have behind it... Ooh, okay, exit zone. Okay, so maybe this is the exit. Cool. All right. Exit zone. Authorized personnel only. Press C to sneak. While hidden, you do increased damage. Avoid bright light. Use melee attacks and move slowly using caps lock to remain undetected. That's right, I have something mapped to caps lock. To perform melee attacks while wielding a gun, press G. Well, I don't. I'm not wielding my gun. Nor do I plan on it. Okay, I'm hidden. I'm gonna sneak up behind this mofo here. Caution, it says. Oh, damn it! There. Sneak attack for three times damage. Cool. Okay. I like that. Sneaking is something that I'm probably going to take advantage of. Oh, I'm still walking slowly. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, I guess the caps lock is a toggle. Oh boy, there's a lot more left to this place. Okay, that looks like there's the exit right there, maybe? But we still have a little bit of exploring left to do. Here's another body. Oh god. Oh god, he says. That's all he has to say. Oh, oh, oh! Hidden. Hidden from what? Hmm, how come... Oh, I'm hitting tab. There we go. Let's see if I can sneak up behind this thing. Haha. Uh -huh. Ooh, I like this. You can see in my lower left hand corner there, I have taken some damage from these stupid rad roaches. So, ooh, ooh, pip boy. Okay, we'll get the pip boy last. I want to go look in here first. Oh, God. We'll get the pip boy last. We'll take that 10 millimeter round. It says water access, but I can't get to it, so. Oh, 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 is that water? It is water. Huh. I probably don't want to go in there. But I kind of want to, just to see if there's anything in it. But uh, I think we'll get irradiated if we do that. Huh. Wow, this, um... Huh. Maybe I should just go ahead and pick up the Pip-Boy. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I thought it was a note or something. Take Pip Boy. <laughs> Take it off of his skeleton hand. Ah, it's pretty compact. Yeah. There we go. Oh, sounds like it has a little hard drive in it. Uh, copyright 2075 Rubco. 64K RAM. <laughs> You'd think in the year 2075 they'd have more RAM than that. Select a tab with mouse one. Okay, we've got our stats, our inventory, change sections with S and F. Oh, these sections, I see. Press tab to exit the Pip Boy. To enter, press tab. Okay, weapons, apparel, aid, miscellaneous, junk, mods, and ammo. Okay data. So this is our current quest, out of time. Oh, okay, and we could turn that quest on or off if we want. Ooh. While cryogenically frozen in Vault 111, I awoke just long enough to witness the murder of my wife and the abduction of my infant son. I need to escape Vault 111 and return home so I can begin to make sense of this tragedy. So I guess this is our quest, and this is our current objective, maybe? 
Workshops. Nothing. Stats. Uh, let's see, we've discovered zero locations, but we've collected 24 junk and we've looted one chest. And nothing else. Quest. Quest completed none. Combat. Creatures killed 13. Ooh, two critical strikes. Two sneak attacks. Two backstabs. Look at us go. Crafting. We've done no crafting. Crime. Ah, lock picking locks is a crime. Hacking computers is a crime. Not sure how I feel about that. Map. Sanctuary Hills. At Vault 111. Oh my, this is a pretty big map. Can I zoom in and out? I can. Well, that's as far out, far as I can zoom out, so not very far. Now, uh, I know this game takes place in Boston. I've been to Boston before, but it's been a long time. So I couldn't tell you where downtown is on this map, but you'd think it was maybe at this junction or maybe around here where there's a lot more roads. But right now we're out here in the suburbs. Radio. We have no radio stations. I probably won't be turning on the radio in this game. You know, copyright and all that crap. Uh, perk chart. Down here it says perk chart. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Uh, strength. Yeah, strength, perception. We know all this. Um, interesting. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six stars in strength training. That's right. We have nothing to spend right now. All right. Uh, we don't need to be in here. Status special perks. We have no perks. Okay. So hmm, it's not really telling me what these things mean. I guess our radiation level is 10. I don't know what this is. Huh, it's weird that it doesn't tell us at all. Oh well. Alright. That's uh, good enough for now. Vault door, con vault door controls activates. Oh. Ooh, how neat. Vault door remote access ready. Okay. Alright. Oh, there it goes. No, it shut this door back here. Okay, good. <laughs> I can open the door. All right, we're not going to exit just yet. Because I haven't explored this area back here. Oh, wait a minute. Is this just where we started? not sure is it all right where did we start have I been here I don't think so oh oh this is this is it okay this is where we started there's our wife there's our dead frozen wife that she's thawing out now can I close this Let's close this up so she doesn't thaw out. Let's do that. <laughs> Keep the rad roaches away from her. Okay, yeah, let's do that. There's nothing interesting up here. Okay. Uh, yeah, last time we exited there. And I guess we must have gone this way. Because last time... This is a restricted area. I'm actually not sure. Okay, bear with me for just a moment while I get my bearings. Have we been in here yet? Have I looked at this? I don't think I've looked at this monitoring terminal. Huh. Cryogenic array. Uh, premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Life supports. Offline, same message. Pod occupant status. Oh, this is the... These are B pods. Oh. Okay, so this guy's dead. So there's another... These are different pods than the ones that we were in. 
deceased. I'm going to see if any of these people have a different status. Whoops. Alright. Come on, let's speed this up. Deceased, okay. Deceased, same thing. Did anybody live? Are any of these pods empty? I don't... This is terrible. All these people. Okay, so none of these people lived. Alright. Okay, here they are, these, are, these are the pods. We got a dude in there. They're, all, the, all these people are dead. Activate. Oh, God. Why would Vault Tech do this? Why would Vault Tech do this? Hello? Anyone? Call, calm down, dude. Okay. Clipboard. Oh, I gotta take these clipboards. Ooh, a jumpsuit. A new jumpsuit. Hmm. I wonder if that's better than the jumpsuit jumpsuit that I'm currently wearing. Let's take a look. So here at our ammo, or not ammo, our inventory. I meant to say inventory, but apparel, new. Huh. Looks exactly the same, doesn't it? According to the damage resist, the weight and the value is exactly the same. But I guess it's good to have a spare. And it's not that heavy, it just weighs one, one unit. So I think I think that we're pretty safe carrying that about. That's that's not a problem. We're, we'll go ahead and carry that with us. I need to stop picking all this crap up, man. Here's another guy. They're... They're dead. Yeah, they're dead, genius. Can't turn that. Another woman. They're all dead. Why did they do this? Why did they do this? Why? I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna I'm gonna get lost. Okay, so this this is where we were. Okay, this place isn't that big, I guess. Alright, this is where we were. This is another bay of pods in there. And then this was where this is what led to uh, the rest of the place. Yeah. Right, we already looked through all this. We've already been here. Okay, so we don't need to go back through that again. Don't you worry. We're not going to go back through it again. And then here is the exit. All right, so I guess have I have I looked at everything in here? I guess I have. The only thing I didn't do was go down on that water. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if I stick my toe in the water. Oh, nothing. I could drink it. I'm not gonna. Well, if my uh, radiation level's going up, I don't see it anywhere. I don't know where, where my radiation level is on my HUD. Unless it's this little teeny tiny sliver of red there at the far right of my HP dial, or gauge, I should say. Ah, I almost missed this. Almost missed that. Whew. Don't want to miss that. That could come in handy, no doubt about it. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to leave this place. Now, we're going to re want to remember this place and come back to it later. Ooh, another jumpsuit. We're going to want to come back here later because, if you remember, there was some kind of weird weapon in the Overseer's office that uh, we couldn't get to. Oh, oh, the elevator came down for us. That's nice. It's kind of kind of scary in a way, though. Maybe it's not scary. Maybe it's just all automated, right? That's probably all it is, just automated. All right, let's go. Does it just go up automatically? Oh, do you want to change anything? No, let's go. I'm good. 
I don't need to change my name or my special attributes. I don't need to change my appearance and I don't need to I don't need to do anything. Let's get out of here. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Did I really have a choice? Oh, look at this. Those who reserved spots in Vault 111 had no idea they would be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost every vault was actually a secret social experiment conducted by Vault Tech. Almost every vault, really? I didn't know it was almost every vault. Mmm, sunlight is bright. <gasps> what? Oh, God. <sighs> okay, completed exit vault 111. Now it's now my task is to go home. I don't know what that is on my little... Um, what do I want to call it down there? My compass, maybe? There's a person, like a figure, there's a house, there's a gear. Okay, I don't know what those mean. I don't know if there's even a manual for this game. <laughs> so, um, here we are back on the surface. It's not looking too good up here. Got the skeletons over here. Let's look at our Pip-Boy. On the inventory tab, you can favorite items by pressing Q. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, get off the screen. Uh, let's see, status, no. From the maps tab, select a map marker with mouse one to fast travel to that location. Hold mouse one and drag to adjust your view. Okay, great, wonderful, fantastic. Go home. Quests. Huh, okay. Okay, so we're still in the out of time quest, and our current objective is to go home. I've made it out of Vault 111, only to find the world I knew completely destroyed by nuclear war. I need to head home and see if there's anything left. That's how, that's how my guy talks, in case you didn't know. Oh, lots of dead bodies. Uh, I'm going to guess that the little house is home. Uh, there's a gear here. I don't know what the gear means. I don't know how far away it is. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we must be standing right on top of whatever this gear is. Because when I move forward, see how it just goes right off the edge there? So, whatever that gear is, maybe that means vault. Maybe that's all that means. It's a little... A little off. Maybe that's what it's telling us. That's that's how we get back to the vault. I'm going to go with that. And then we've got... Um, this other thing. Looks like a guy, maybe like an army man, holding a gun, kind of. And then this is probably the way to our home. Um, I think there's a little path that leads us up here. Let's look in this structure. See if there's anything... Worth looking at. Nuka Cola bottle. Do I want to take these? Are these good to have? A folder. A wrench. Vault 111 elevator button. First aid. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'll take that. Ooh, rat away and hairbrush. It's an odd combination of items. Push. So maybe this is to bring the elevator up if it's down. Maybe that's what that's for. Look at me figuring stuff out. Okay, we're gonna... Oh gosh, can we look in these crates? Oh my gosh. Rat away and a kickball. <laughs> okay. So we just have some small shipping containers over here. Huh. Um, I'm not gonna go there just yet. I don't think. All right, I'm curious enough just to see what this is. Press left shift to sprint. Why is it telling me how to sprint? You're making me nervous, game. What is it I'm going to be sprinting from? Hmm. Whoops. Okay. So it's just uh, an old vehicle here, a couple old vehicles. Not seeing anything that we could pick up from here, so 
Instead of going that way, or is that the way we want to go? For some reason I thought that the the path that led here was this way, but I could be wrong. I was wrong that one time before. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I've changed my field of view. I went in and edited the settings. So now I have a little bit of a wider field of view. I also turned off mouse acceleration. It was making things kind of jittery. Kind of like the way things are moving right now. Cram. That's some kind of food, right? Um, maybe we could dismantle the desk fan. Maybe we'll just take a whole bunch of stuff back to our home and uh, store it there. A bottle cap. That's like currency. Okay, nothing in the desk. 10 millimeter rounds. What am I hearing? You hear that? Now I don't hear it. I heard something. Something, something was banging. Hmm, making me nervous game. Making me nervous. Okay, yeah, this is the gate that we came in when we came up here. So let's go down this way. All these people didn't make it. I haven't seen a child-sized skeleton yet. Not that that's a laughing matter. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I saw a woman and I was like, men, women, and children, but then I didn't see any. Ooh, hub flower? We could harvest flowers? Neat. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out for those. 